Yo boys, I hope we're all good. We're going to be doing some SMA outreach training. We've got a lot to get through. I've built out um, quite a good framework for you today. So um, if you haven't got a pen and piece of paper, get a pen and piece of paper and um, just kind of sit and, and, you know, you can rethink the outreach and, you know, you can let me share what I think um, is the best way to outreach and, um, yeah, it helps me book appointments, okay? So, right, so a lot of people say like, oh, you know, I want a really good agency. I want to make money from SMA. I want, you know, I want to be booking appointments, booking sales calls. But okay, well, let's let's really dig deep into that. Okay, so the only actual outreach methods, right, are pretty much these, right? They're, they're, like you, you can think of a few more, right? I said in my video, like you can leverage communities, etc. But these are like the main outreach methods, right? Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, cold email, cold call. Okay, and so. A lot of people don't actually look at this. They ask these questions about, you know, oh, w w what would I say on the sales call? Um, let's let's get a sales call first, okay? So, if we look at all these, okay, they all have a bar between how cold the prospect is when you're messaging them to how warm they are when you're messaging them, okay? We all, I'd, I'd literally, I'd write this framework down, okay? I'd literally draw a box, bang, cold, or just put cold books appointments big line and then warm okay we always want to be in 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 the best case scenario every single prospect we message is warm that's like that's how you really scale a business to 30k 20k per month is that if you can if you all your prospects are warm prospects like you'll have such a fun time this will all be very easy for you okay so if we map out out of these outreach methods okay that we want to be leveraging which is the most cold, which is the most warm, okay? I'm going to put cold email. I think you'd agree with me. Cold email is here. It's extremely cold because, one, it takes a long time to go back and forth. So for someone to go back and forth on an email, it takes like, quite a long time. You have to reply, uh, da -da -da, subscriptions, flood the email box. Uh, emails get fucking lost all the time, right? Two, there's no sales assets. Sales assets, what I mean by maybe some pieces of content, some testimonial you can't leverage anything it's a cold email there's just some text of shit outreach method right my outreach message so there's there's no sales assets to warm the prospect up there's no like there's no personality there's no report building it's an extremely cold method of outreach right so point out where my agency i don't even do cold email i'd rather lie on inbound leads and cold email cold email like for, for like Facebook ads and stuff, I, I do think it's pretty good if you're in the Facebook ad niche watching this. Um, like it can be okay, right? But you still have to send a lot of volume. But anything else, really, really dead, okay? Because um, it's just on this, on, this, on this line, right? It's all the way over here, okay? We've got LinkedIn. If your prospect replies on LinkedIn, they're extremely warm. Because for someone to reply on LinkedIn, it's extremely... Um, extremely rare and also linkedin was made as a business platform if you think about every other platform instagram entertainment facebook stories social life um linkedin straight business okay so if someone's replying to you they're not here to have a fucking fuck about conversation they're here to talk business okay so they would be qualified as a warm prospect if they do reply on linkedin okay because that is very it was literally made as a business platform only talk business straight business okay um cold call I would put cold. The reason it's not as cold is because if they do pick up, then, you know, it's person to person. So you build a bit of, you know, warmth there, but it's still pretty cold, right? A cold email, it, you know, a cold call is, is out of nowhere. A lot of people get cold calls. Um, Red Bull. Red Bull ain't bad, by the way. Everyone says, oh, if, if you bang Jim, you're allowed to drink a little Red Bull. Um, anyway, so cold call. Um, like... When they pick up, it, it's you and a person. So I guess it, it, it creates some sort of warm prospect building there. But it's very cold, right? It's a cold inbound. They know nothing about you. They know nothing about your company. They know nothing about your offer. They know nothing about you, okay? So it would be deemed cold. Um, Facebook, we're going to more that side because we have a profile and content to leverage. And then Instagram, a bit more than Facebook because profiles mean a little bit more than they do on Facebook. Um, Facebook's a fucking weird platform. Really weird. So I'd put Instagram nearer to here, okay? So we want to be leveraging the platforms that, you know, the prospects can be more warmer, okay? LinkedIn is more of a scaled outreach approach. Um, 
but Instagram and Facebook are the ones that you need to be going hard at every day. There's no excuse, right? Otherwise, you're just not booking appointments. If you're sitting here right now watching this video and you just haven't got appointments, there's no there's no booking in your calendar. Ask yourself, like, ask yourself right now, have I been going hard on social platforms? Okay, no. Well, that's where you don't have appointments, right? Um, so, as you can see, this, this framework here, we're just trying to get people more to this side, okay? How else can we do this? Right? Um, that's fucked. How else can we get more people towards the warm side? So going this way, opposed to that way, as possible, right? Sales, assets. So this could be content. This could be, you know, stuff like that. Um, bang. Free value. I don't know why it's fucked up like that. Free value. Maybe a free sample of your work. Free information. I want it to, like, go that way. Because I mean it go that way, okay? Getting towards more warm. Um, so free value, uh, sales assets, um, uh, a VSL, video sales letter, which is powerful as fuck. Um, so we're, we're just trying to anything that we can do to get the cogs moving this way to warm towards the warm prospect till they feel comfortable with you. They know what you're offering. They know that you're good at the fucking offer and you can kind of run it. Okay. So that's basically this framework. So we're going to the next offer, okay? Now, your offer is extremely important. If it's not service market fit, then no one really cares and it's not a scalable business, okay? For like zero, zero to like five, 10K, it's just selling something to one person, right? You don't need to diversify your prospect too much. It's just selling someone to, to, to some person, okay? So the thing that you need to write in your offer um, and and if you can't work this out, like if 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 you can if you can't write five reasons as to why your offer increases a client's revenue, or increases a client's social status, then it's not an offer you should go with, okay? Because that's all we're doing. That like that's all the client really gives a fuck about. Like if it's not increasing their revenue, if it's not increasing their social st status, then they don't really care, right? If if you look at any human being ever, like they want either a increased amount of fame. Or increased income preferably income right but if the social status increase can also increase the revenue like measurable then that's also great okay with an offer as well value slash convenience so i'll go back to thomas Gannett's most recent video his offer just has so much convenience that's all he was optimizing for convenience it's all in the one spot Bang, you can do it quick he's gonna make a fuck ton of money i love that offer i absolutely love that offer for thomas um so it's because he just prioritized so much convenient. It's so convenient for the client to have what he's selling, right? This is this is incredible business. This is just business 101, right? If we look at the biggest companies in the world, it's extremely convenient to have their products. This is how you scale a good business. So also a guarantee, right? Your, your, your offer has to guarantee it works. Like, if there's any risk involved for the client, then they won't sign you. Like, we have to really, really dig deep into our mind. Like, someone spent, like, someone's transferring over a thousand pounds online over the phone. Like, there can't be any risk. Like, if there's risk, then this, is, this isn't going to work. Like, they're, just not, they're, they're going to be like, oh, you know, we'll think about it. And then if you've, if you've been on a sales call and they've gone like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'm really interested in the offer though. And then you're like, oh, yeah, thanks. And they don't come back. It's because it's too much risk. It was a little bit of a risk. Therefore, it was too much risk. Okay. So to minimize this, obviously, we can offer a guarantee. Um, we can also do a free sample slash value. Okay. So this is a free short. This is the free video going over how that works or how you can improve your business. There's a free logo that might look a little bit better. I don't know. Like, it's free value. Okay. This is how we're going to, you know, um, get into play the reciprocation tendencies law where they're going to, you know, feel like they, they need to give you something back, right? It just plays a little bit um, role into the client actually giving you something. Okay. So having a strong guarantee, um, almost like a guarantee when it's like, risk reversed so it's it's like risked on yourself so like you need to it needs to be like ah oh, um we'll book you five appointments or you don't pay us like the risk needs to be on you not just a pussy guarantee like oh we guarantee free appointments like no no no. otherwise you don't we don't, like we don't make money okay so risk yourself put yourself on the line right it's what we have to do guys and if i'm saying that and you're like oh no but like i might i might like what if i don't 
um, what if I don't like make money? What if I like uh, what if I can't fulfill the service? Then it's gonna be extremely difficult for you to win an SMA because it, especially now it can be difficult, right? So zero risk, extremely important for a client actually signing up with you and wiring you money online, right? And it has to be service market fit. You can't sell shit that don't but people don't people don't care about. I've seen I hope I hope the people that I'm talking to here are watching this. I've received so many um so many like uh outreach messages for the for, for the deadest offers in the entire world. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Someone was offering me website copy. He's a copyright. I don't chat G, chat GPT, what the fuck? Like, why are you still doing copywriting? Like, so many people are selling the deadest services that don't solve or mean shit. If you're still doing, like, I mean, social media management can be okay. It's small ticket here and there. I started social media management. Um, like, yeah. It, it, yeah. But it's so, it, it doesn't, like, people don't care. Like, people are like, oh, wow, this would really change my life. Like, say if I did sign that guy, right, paid him to do my fucking website copy, which, by the way, he doesn't even know what what or how or what I want so I'd pretty much be writing the whole fucking thing anyway do you see how much of a dead offer that is it's just so dead who I got an offer someone wanted to work for me and I, like if you're watching this video like no offense and like like I just I just want to help that's why I like if we go authentic here you've watched 11 minutes of this video so you clearly like me in some way because if I'm ever like a little bit a bit out there or I say something that might offend people it's because like th there is good intentions behind it right it's just because it, it if the shit's not working, I don't want you to waste your time. I don't want you to be walking around and me trying to... Nah, yeah, man. Like, it it can be good. Haha, <laughs> like, sub to me, please. Because the truth is, that's not going to help you. Okay? So, so for example, uh, some guy, he was like, Oh, you know, I can schedule all your posts. Like, I'm a really good um, algorithm. Like, are you? It's boring. Like, it's boring. It's boring. I don't want it. Okay? So, it has to be service market fit. It absolutely has to be service market fit. Targeted prospects, okay? So you can niche down. So for example, if you're doing a Facebook ad agency, then you can niche down to like car companies, etc., cetera, um, or something like that, like uh, med spas. But, you know, Thomas is kind of destroying that game. So I don't know how, it, <laughs> I don't know how anyone's going to land. Mm. Um, especially if you're doing the dead outreach numbers. Um, and you can tailor your outreach message to the prospect avatar, okay? So if you were doing a car dealership, your average message would be, we've worked with car dealerships before. It's more powerful, right? Niching down. You don't want to niche into a market that there's no one there. It needs to be people there, but, you know, you need to do that, okay? Is everyone else doing it? Look at the, your targeted prospect, for example, if you're uh, short-form content. If you go into a niche of short-form content, is everyone else in their niche doing short-form content? Like, you wouldn't message restaurant people saying, oh, do you want to do short-form content? Because no one else is doing it in their niche, right? They're not going to look around and be like, fuck, we're missing out. Fuck, we need this. Because no one else is doing it. So it needs to make sense for the for your prospect. Would, this, would your service genuinely benefit them, right? Um, let me just write that down. Oh, fuck, I'm such a noob. Man. Um, would your, would you, oh, would your service, it's going to sink quite far away, benefit prospect, okay? So you really need to ask you that and dig into that, okay? So is everyone else doing it in their niche? Tailor outreach message to prospect avatar, niche down but to a market that's, you know, fairly big and does it make sense for the prospect to spend their money like guys with monthly with monthly payments right it needs to make them more than they're paying you whether this is in the future whether this is short term it needs to make more than they're paying you otherwise this is going to be very difficult otherwise you're going to find it extremely difficult to land because no one sees the real value in it okay so facebook and instagram workflow we're still not done yet there's still a lot to go um, so just keep writing notes down, etc. And we're all good, okay? So Instagram workflow, right? Find qualified prospect. You can do this through the reels page or the search tab. Um, and then once you've found, I should probably put once found. Once found qualified prospect um, suggested tab, okay? So when you can find, you know, other um people with the same niche, uh, the same account. And a lot of people say that and they're like, oh, isn't that cliche advice? Yeah, it's cliche because it's fucking good. Um, 25 messages plus 15 follow-ups a day to warm up your account. 
follow this method. There's nothing really else you can do. There's literally zero else you can do other than people inbound coming to you, but you guys probably haven't built enough sales assets to do that yet. Um, follow your outreach message. Follow the sales process. Send a VSL if needed. Um, that's the kind of workflow that I use um, in my agency, right? And then you've got the Facebook workflow, which is find qualified prospect, 25 messages to 15 follow-ups per day. We want to be leveraging Facebook groups um, with relevant prospects, right? This is just giving us a pool of prospects that, you know, would actually be interested in our service, right? Instead of going out and find them individually, they're all in the same spot waiting for us to message them, right? Same process, outreach message, sales process, and VSL. Um, this is extremely important. You at least stay consistent for this for... Um, uh, you know a month or so there's an agency network there's a uh add 10k framework where i go over like okay so once you've actually done your outreach what you can do to kind of refine your outreach and it's a fucking sick method i haven't seen people talk about on youtube um so that's pretty cool um outbound prospecting quality yeah this is really important so like you can do all this Right, like you can do like Instagram workflow, you can do like Facebook workflow, you can have your targeted prospect, you can have service market fit. This is a lot here, right? Um, but like, if your outbound prospecting quality is just pretty low, if you or your virtual assistant isn't trained, then the rate of you booking appointments is going to be fairly low. Okay, like that's just that's just facts, right? So whether it's your virtual assistant, whether it's you, you need to get trained and having the knowledge of how to actually book people on calls, okay? I'm not going to lie, it's ex it, like it's extremely easier when you have data, when you've data collected, and you can see, okay, like what books calls, like what message, like what do people like, what are my prospects reacting to, what are they interested in? It's a lot easier to refine the message um, than at the start, but this is how you're actually going to like have the insane conversion rates right um yeah so obviously there's a whole process to training a virtual assistant so much that you're probably unaware of um but that's how the process goes and guys if you do this correctly every 50 messages you can or for 30 messages you can get an interested um you can kind of get an interested prospect okay Another thing, right? Obviously, you've heard me say this a million times. Here's the bit where you get insecure. Um, I would have a profile like this, personally. Okay, I'd have all the highlights of what you need, um, etc. There's a few of my boys who are actually doing this. Um, ah, hang on. Um, there's a few of my boys that are doing this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, uh, they followed me recently. Oh, I can't click on the thing, though. Um... What's his name? L. Okay, I see you guys following me. Actually, you know, taking this advice, which is fantastic. Um, I can't remember, man. Should I look at my followers? Let's see if I can pick my hair. Oh, here's, here's a guy. So I can tell this is someone who watches me. He sent me a message. Um, you know, he's talking about his personal brand, short form content. Um, you know, etc. So he's actually he's actually taken the advice, right? So you know, he obviously this is small at the moment, and maybe he's profile picture and this isn't so good and there's no call to action to his funnel but you know he's building something right in 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 two years time this is going to be worth a lot um because we need to be thinking long term at all time right so I, I i think he someone well he does watch my content he sent me a, he sent me a little message um but yeah there's there's other people as well actually you know starting to just take the leap and and doing this shit right and they're going to be the successful ones in in years to come um This guy, I think he's someone, um, but uh, but you know, so your Instagram, your profile needs to show what you can do. It needs to show your your previous work, right? It needs to show the short form content you've done to the level. As you can see, I would never post something that one isn't mine, right? Or two isn't my quality. So you can see all these, like no one can repeat this shit, right? Matthew done a good job in this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you need you need to you need to be printing just like wham in that photo, you know. <laughs> um, you need to just be printing short form content, right? Like, it, like me doing this is a testimonial in itself, right? Really good short form content. Wow, this guy's like knows how to do short form content. That's, if we were my prospect, that's that's something that they'd think, right? Um, value. 
So, with a profile like this, following this system, it really, really isn't too difficult, okay? If I was to go into uh, um, Outreach Sheet, I'll show you what the VA is. We launched a new campaign on Instagram only, and look, okay? So, we okay, they need to do more there. But, look, the VA, right? Launched this campaign on the 3rd. Um, it should say the 2nd there. Actually, I don't know why that's the 1st. Launched a new campaign on Feb uh, yesterday. I'm filming this on the 4th, as you can see. Guys, <laughs> 11 messages, 12 messages to book an appointment. Right after that, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 13 messages more, another appointment. Okay? I reckon when the, when the VA does its second half, what? It's going to be here. There's going to be another appointment. Okay, so guys, as you can see, you know, and me and, me and Harv have separate appointments there, right? Like for Instagram and Facebook, um, because we don't want to get them muddled up, etc. Um, you know, because then they're going to start messaging the same people. So guys, if you are thinking about getting two appointments there, my main kind of tip would be um, like, have like what like have one for instagram have one for facebook obviously you guys have like two accounts being harvey have like four uh, which is pretty powerful but if you are thinking that depo get like separate for each platform right but guys like as you can see when you actually do this when you follow this shit this shit ain't hard 11 messages appointment 30 appoint so out of 30 fucking messages two appointments now i don't think this will continue right i thought my video was there for a second um but as you can see, it's going well, right? We literally launched this yesterday, okay? I don't know why that, that is really annoying. Uh, I'll do it later. <laughs> Fuck filming, right? But, you know, so when you have an account like this, when you follow everything, obviously there's more, there's more I could say, but um, this is just some basic outreach training, okay? And then when you really follow this process, when you, when you start pushing towards warm prospects, when you niche down, when you do you know follow these principles with your offer when you target your real prospects when you follow this workflow and plus the 10k framework in agency network and train your virtual assistants correctly this shit ain't hard and you can this shit ain't hard you can really get ahead of the other people um in your niche and i see so many people doing so much extra hard work and and i'm, I'm not that skilled like, uh, like, there's nothing different between me and you. It's just that I follow a certain philosophy. I, fo I follow a certain framework that I think works. And, you know, like, you could watch this whole video and be like, oh, you're full of shit. I'm not going to. But listen, that's, that's like fine. The whole point of just sharing value and content is just giving my side of the book, right? We're all in different lives. We're all in different mindsets. And all I'm doing is sitting here just showing you, like, guys, this is what I think like could be really good for your agency. So you think that you need to share something you know really insane you really just share what's working for you obviously don't chat shit right but like for example you you don't need to watch this video i'm just sharing my experience right but anyway um this is just an sma outreach training video um just trying to give as free value as i can uh kind of went on for a little bit long but um but yeah I'm, I'm really excited about the future just having this knowledge knowing all this and um and yeah, so boys, if you're not in Agency Network, get in Agency Network. Um, I think like our free server just has like, I think we went a little bit overboard. Like no free servers have like fucking, th this is what, what we built it because so many free servers just act like it's like a hub. You join the free server and they don't give you shit, right? It's just upgrade, right? But we've actually got like, there's like eight unlisted videos there. And um, we're launching something there soon as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just funny. And then, and then the upgrade is like 997 or like 100 quid a month. It's like fucking hell. Um, but anyway, make sure potential. Let's get another farm. I'll see you next one.